Hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is from a set of four that I collected solely, slowly from Kroger. This one says joy in its green, all its greenness. Each coffee mug is a different color. I have a gold one and a red one and I can't remember the fourth one, but I do have them all purple, kind of a grayish lavender purple. Anyway, so today's tea is from Ticino. It is chicory herbal dandelion red chai made with organic chicory and dandelions. It's a medium roast, um, stimulating spices, accent, red rooibos. I hope that's how that's pronounced. Rooibos? I don't know. Uh, it has carob, the rooibos, chicory, dandelion root, date, uh, cinnamon, ginger, natural spice flavor, whatever that is, um, cardamom, sweet blackberry leaves, black pepper, cloves, and it has a warning on it that says that it was processed on something that also processed nuts. So if you have a nut problem, you won't want to try this tea, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. This is from our October Sip Spy box. So let's give this a sip. That's a little different. May need to steep longer. I'm not getting a lot of flavor at this point. I want to say it's almost like chocolate, but it's not. I do get the spices. I do get spices. It's not bad. I just need to figure out how to define the flavor. So today we're going to get into our curl box stuff, but before we do that, I have a couple things to um, add. Uh, it's so unfortunately, this one's going to be a little longer than usual, which is saying something because I know my curl box uh, videos get rather long. Um, first of all, I want to encourage uh, any of my uh, Dragonettes who can afford it to pick up one or more of the pieces from the ColourPop and the Lila collab. 20% uh, of all proceeds go to Make-A-Wish. I just got my uh, pieces, my set today, uh, and the, the packaging is cute. This one is Journey. This one is Strength. I'm actually wearing some of this today. I'm not a big fan of the um, Super Shocks, but I picked these up specifically for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I am not going to swatch anything, but I did want to kind of show these to you because the colors are absolutely gorgeous, much, much prettier in real life than they are um, on the site. These are just beautiful, beautiful colors. You can't even see that one. It's kind of a champagne. They're gorgeous. They're all glittery. These are all glittery. There's no mattes or satins in these particular set. And I love some of the names of these. We've got um, OK, DJ, uh, Warrior. I'm wearing a little bit of Warrior today. And Cherish. So highly encourage you to pick some of those up. The lip set includes two ultra glossies and one ultra satin, New Day Wish and JJ. I am wearing uh, JJ on my lips. It is like a um, actual gloss. Um, and the other two are a bit on the nude side for me, but I'll give them a try at some point in the future when I want a more natural look. Yeah, like your girl is going to do a more natural look. But like I said, I really wanted to support this because of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and I would really encourage my Dragonettes to do so as well if you can afford it. Um, 20% to the Make-A-Wish Foundation is fantastic to me, and this packaging is just adorable. So, if you can, uh, really consider picking at least one of the pieces up. You can pick up just one Super Shock or something. Just to show your support for the Make-A-Wish, which um, basically grants the wishes of kids uh, with cancer and other serious illnesses and uh, that kind of thing. So, 
really hope that you will consider doing that. Thank you. The second thing I wanted to talk about was a couple of hair updates, some things that I have um, learned just recently about my hair, a few things that um, actually uh, just played around with. The first thing is, is as you know, I said I would pick out my hair to get it some fullness. What well, the problem is, using one of those picks, and I don't think I have my pick up here that I had up here before. Um, oh yeah, I do. Using one of these regular picks, these more narrow picks, yes, it'll give me fullness, but I've also found that it tends to um, pull out the curl, I guess would be the way to put it. It tends to uh, reduce the amount of curl I have in my hair. So I've actually stopped using these because I like my curl, but I need the fullness. And when I don't have uh, something to go through my hair, I think my hair, yes, I have all the curls, but it can look almost like it's stringy. So um, what I am now using is these really big fat combs. And I don't really actually comb through my hair. I just sort of fluff it like this to get some of that fullness in my hair. It helps separate some of the curls that are stuck together without actually destroying them the way the pick does. So I can do that and yeah. <laughs> having some issues with that, some of that. I've got, I actually plopped overnight last night and ended up a little flat on the top, but anyway. Uh, so that is something new that I'm doing and I'm actually appreciating and um, very glad to have found a way. It does mean that I end up with a bit more frizz, but um, I like that balance between curl and uh, fullness. And if I have to deal with a little frizz, at least for right now, hopefully for just right now, then I will do it. So yeah, I'm really just, I'm much happier with my curl using the comb. And I've actually had some people comment that the hair has been looking much better. And that those comments uh, started when I started using this versus a pick or just using my fingers to try to separate curls and leaving it like that. So I'm very, very pleased with that. So another thing that um, I'm kind of doing a little differently, occasionally, not all the time, um, as I've noted before, um, I don't use heat on my hair. I don't even own a blow dryer and I don't want to own a blow dryer because I don't like using heat on my hair. Uh, but I do sometimes need to have my hair dry a little faster and I have actually found probably one of the weirdest hacks ever to do this and that's in front of a, my our standing room fan. Put it on high, I put rub a little gel in my fingers, flip my hair over and scrunch in front of the fan until um, the ends start looking dry and it helps keeps my curl and helps keep me away from um, heat and it does dry my hair a little faster. So it's an odd hack but it actually works for me and um, does, like I said, it does dry my hair faster than air drying. Air drying my hair can take four or five hours really. Um, so the fan actually works faster than that. You know, 10 to 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, flip it over, maybe another 10 minutes. Uh, but like I said, I don't completely dry it that way. I get it to uh, just past damp, but not dry, somewhere in between there. And then I let it finish air dry. Just something strange I figured out. One more little thing, and that doesn't even have anything to do with my hair and probably should have been discussed before talking about my hair. Um, as you know, at the end of the month, um, I'm doing a birthday bash. I have actually picked a date to do the birthday bash unboxing, and that'll be the 30th. So that's as close to the end of the month as I can get with actually out actually being on Halloween. This should be going up the week before, so like the 23rd or 24th. So I wanted to give you a warning that if you're going to send anything, a letter, uh, whatever, if you don't have to, I keep telling people, if you want to send something, you may, but I, you don't have to. But if you want to send anything, you're bumping up against that time limit, the time frame to get it to me. I always assume anything I'm uh, shipping or, um, a mailing in any way is going to take at least three days. So we're bumping up against that little bit of um, buffer you have, depending on who you ship with. If you ship with DHL, forget it. It won't get to me by the 30th. So just letting you know that that cutoff is 
um, coming. So yeah, that's all my little announcements and that took 12 minutes. <laughs> 12 minutes into my filming and uh, yeah, I haven't even talked about the curl box. Oh, there is one more thing. Okay, last thing is also hair related. Uh, and that is uh, something that I just discovered yesterday. <laughs> Literally yesterday when I'm filming. Um, as you all know, I love this hibiscus honey hair tonic. I have mentioned that when my hair is wet and I put it in, my hair really curls up a lot. So what I thought I would do, since I've been having trouble finding a refresher and my hair seems to respond to this really well, I decided to try to use this as a refresher. It works. My hair loves it. The curl comes in. A lot of this is from, um, from the overnight plopping when it was all finger curled and all that other stuff, but also areas of my hair in here tend to get very flat when I sleep. So I sprayed in some of this and it also gets rid of, um, I'm trying another new product and I've noticed that, and with the gels, I've noticed that sometimes I get, um, I don't even sure how to explain it. Some kind of stiffness or, um, um, I want to say a film, but it's not just a film. It's like there's something else on my hair that I just, I don't like. And it seems to get rid of that and it soaks in. It has the extra vitamins. So if you're having problems finding a uh, hair refresher like I did and the actual hair refreshers that are out there don't work for your hair, they don't for me, then you may want to go ahead and try the Eden Body Works Hibiscus Honey Hair Tonic and try that on your hair because that has been, this is an amazing product and Eden Body Works is going to get all my money, I'm telling you right now. Just on the one product. I'm going to have to, like, buy it by the case or something now. Alrighty, so we are getting into this month's curl box, but before we do that, we have our unfinished business with last month's curl box, and that is with the uh, Ors Olive Oil line. When I un uh, unboxed it, I was looking at some of the ingredients, and I got kind of concerned because I saw some alcohols in there. Um... I did look them up, and apparently those alcohols um, are fatty alcohols, and also there was some something called paid, uh, PEG-12 dimethicone, and that dimethicone apparently is water-soluble, so it doesn't build up to form the, the barrier. So there is apparently a dimethicone you can use that isn't going to cause the same kind of damage as regular dimethicone. No, I can't use it as a as a body lotion. I would love it to, but anyway, so our shampoo, um, as you note, I have a lot of the shampoo left, uh, but then I don't use a lot of shampoo when I shampoo. I use a very small amount. Whereas with conditioners, I go through those like nobody's business. The way I work with the products for anybody who doesn't know is, um, I s start with just the products. I take most everything except my, um, uh, almond marshmallow serum out of my routine. So I don't use any of the shampoos that I know that already work. I don't use any of the conditioners that I know already work. I attempt to work with just the uh, leave-in mask or whatever it is in that's in the group that they've sent me the first time just to get a feel for the products on their own without any support. Uh, depending on how they work, um, I usually start adding some supports after that. So that is how I work. And then on top of that, the other thing I do, when I wash my hair, I generally get it wet at least 30 minutes before I'm going to wash. And then I load it up with leave-in leave conditioner to precondition it for the actual wash. Um, I want some of that conditioner in there to help protect it from the shampoo, which can, even if it's a good shampoo, which can be stripping and damaging to your hair. Um, I have to get my hair clean but I try to protect it as much as I can with a load of precondition, a load of leave-in conditioner beforehand. Um, so I do it first, when I first try them, I try them by themselves, and the first time I do it, I do it without preconditioning to see if the shampoo is gonna really dry out my hair. The next time I try it, I precondition, and then after that, Sometimes I will see if I need to cocktail it with something. Even if I don't need to con cocktail it with something, because some of the shampoos I've had have been drying and do need a cocktail. But um, sometimes I will um, 
cocktail the shampoo anyway to see if I can get it to work even better. So that's my process. It's a long process. That's one of the reasons why you get so many notes from me and it does take so long to film because I have so much information to share. So that is how I process and take care of testing out these new products. The shampoo, no preconditioning. The first day I used this was uh, a third wash day in two days. So my hair was already getting a little bit um, dried out from being overwashed. Um, but I was so excited when I opened these, I had to try them. I'm not gonna do that again. Anyway, long story short, used something that uh, ended up being crap for my hair and had to wash that out and then these came in and then I did another wash. So keeping that in mind, the first time I did use these, my hair did get really tangled and it felt a little dry and I got a little bit of the squeak. But again, third day in a row washing, which I've stopped doing um, almost about the time I got started getting the, the, the curl box, so five or six months ago. Um, it was easily untangled with my fingers, um, unlike uh, some of the previous shampoo that I've had where untangling it was difficult and it was kind of a mess. Um, the shampoo smells amazing. I love the smells of these things. This whole product line is amazing. This has a nice, fresh... Oh, this just has a nice, fresh... You know, some of these products, like the Hibiscus Honey Line, are really sweet smelling. And while there is a sweetness, this is not an overwhelming sweetness. It's more of a fresh sweetness, if that makes sense. Um, it's very thick, and it has a decent lather when you use it. So I had some dryness, some tangling, but like I said, it was after three days. Preconditioning helped, though there were still some tangles. Um, a tiny bit of dryness on the ends, which I get with most shampoos anyway. Some squeak, but not the high pitch squeak. It was more of a low pitch. And that's something that I've noticed too when I use shampoos is I will have one that has a very... The high pitch is the one I think that's more dangerous. And the lower one I think just means I'm rubbing my hair in a particular way. What I did with this, uh, mixing, I did mix it with my Shea Moisture... Uh, Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Shampoo didn't help with the tangles, but it did get rid of the squeak and my hair felt soft and smooth and it did help with some of the dryness. Would I buy this again? Yes. Yes, I like this and I like the fact that I can mix it with the Shea Moisture because um, this is like, I'm trying to remember because I've actually already repurchased one of them and I think it was five maybe six dollars and the Shea Moisture is like 11 so if I can mix those I can still get this fantastic hair um, and at a price it's kind of in the middle there so yes I would repurchase I do recommend it I really did like it that goes for most of the line so the conditioner this is the one I've already repurchased I found it at a local Walmart and it was I think it was on sale and I just I snatched it up I actually had my son smell this Yes, I'm going to open it. <sighs> Every time I smell this. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. My son had a reaction to the smell, a positive reaction to the smell too. He was like, what is that? <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, it's a very thick conditioner. It has a decent slip, but it felt different from some of my other conditioners uh, when in my hair. Not as creamy. A uh, hair was smooth when I rinsed. Uh, this is without preconditioning. Um, and my hair had a really, uh, not, not really soft or silky. And my hair had a really good wet curl. Hair did feel silky and soft when taken out of the microfiber towel that I used to uh, hold onto my hair while I dry my body. Um, and my hair... The scent does eventually fade, but it does seem to cling longer than other conditioners I've tried. Um, and just, you open up the towel and you get that. It's amazing. Yes, it's amazing. I'm going to keep going. Wet curl, uh, a little uh, less impressed when I use this as a co-wash, no-wash. Uh, every other day, uh, 
I get into the shower almost every night. So one day I wash my hair and the next day I just use conditioner in my hair. I don't suds it. And I wasn't quite as impressed when I used it as a co or no, you know, wash standalone conditioner, but my hair still felt smooth and had no dryness. When I preconditioned, that didn't change much of how this worked with my hair. The wet curl was a little bit better. That was about it. Uh, my serum went on went much more smoothly and soaked in really, really quickly when I preconditioned. This is the one I've already repurchased. and uh, I will purchase it again and again and again. I have mixed it with the Shea Moisture, Manuka Honey, and Mephora Oil um, conditioner. The two work really well together. Um, and this one has the stronger scent. So the sweetest, sweeter scent of the uh, Shea Moisture uh, conditioner doesn't take over this one or actually do much of anything to this one. It lightens it up a little bit, I would say it does. But um, another one that I highly recommend, I really, really do. This is amazing. And you can get it at Walmart. Probably can get it at Target or Sally's Beauty, any other number of places. And it is, um, it's an, it's amazing. Almost as good as the Shea Moisture. So the next one is the Olive Oil Smooth and Hold Pudding. There wasn't much of a difference with this, whether I conditioned, preconditioned or didn't precondition. It really just didn't make much of a difference. Um, I used it with, when I used it with only with my serum, um, it, this has a really nice light. This has the same uh, fresh scent as the shampoo to some degree. Um, it's smooth and creamy. I went very light as I always do because I do not usually typically go heavy in my hair. My pre-plopping curl right after I put this in and scrunched it in uh, was amazing. However, in the morning, um, I didn't have uh, the same. I didn't have the curl I expected. Uh, it was decent. But it wasn't as wow as I was used to it being before I started using this. My hair was smooth and soft and did feel moisturized. I don't know that I would uh, repurchase this. Um, I have started cocktailing it with some of my other stuff. Um, but again, I'm going light. And it does, it has seemed to help the curl a bit. But um, I think I, I like it, but not enough to rebuy. So yeah, just not enough to rebuy. I, I got others that I like more is what it comes down to. It's not a bad product. And if I came down to a money pinch, I would definitely pick it up, but I have others that I just prefer. So next we have the olive oil wrap set mousse. I don't generally use mousse. And in fact, I've gotten mousses a couple of other times and I've not use them because I don't use mousse, but because I'm reviewing the box, I ended up using this. I haven't used it very frequently, but the times I have used it, I've actually liked it for the most part. Um, it has a very creamy consistency and it practically melts into my hair when I use it. Was really, like I said, I was really surprised because I don't really like mousse. <laughs> I don't use it. Um, I scrunched a bit and my hair curled right up and plopped for a bit. I always plop my hair when I'm doing my skincare. So I get out of my shower, put all my stuff in my hair, get it plopping, and then I do my skincare. And then whether or not I will continue to plop just depends on my mood for the day. Um, usually I don't continue to plop. Uh, but when I plopped, um, my hair ended up really beautifully curly and soft. However, the next morning, my ends in particular felt a bit dry. So um, I think, as I noted at the beginning, um, I'm starting to use the hair tonic to do a curl refresher. So I think that this will actually help with that because it does help with some of the um, uh, other issues I've had, uh, other I can't even explain how it feels. It just doesn't feel right sometimes in the morning. And this has helped with that and made it feel soft and like it's, you know, and it's got the curl and everything. So I think that this would help with any dryness that this leaves behind. Would I buy this again? Uh, probably. If I'm going to buy a mousse, I'm actually going to try this with uh, my curl formers after my birthday bash. Um, and 
during my birthday bash. You'll find out why. But uh, I'm going to try it with the curl formers and see if it helps with some of the hold. And uh, if I'm going to use any kind of mousse, this would be the mousse I would use. I do not foresee myself needing to buy it frequently because I probably won't use it that often. But it's it's a for a mousse, I was just really surprised and I really... Uh, other than the dryness the next day that I felt, it, it's really good. Last, we have the Olive Oil Edge Control. Um, this has kind of a soft hold. It is uh, a gel, and it's not very sticky. Uh, it's more of a creamy consistency. You can feel that it's very moisturizing, um, both when I do this and when I was using it in my hair. When I use it in my hair, I haven't used it quite as much um, recently. Uh, I did use it in a different way for once. Mostly I use these gels to, to edge control. I'm kind of rambling a bit, but mostly I use the edge control to control these little flyaways that I have when um, I'm putting on my makeup because otherwise uh, my hair will end up the color of my skin. So not a good look. Um, so it does uh, keep my flyaways down and in place for my makeup time and it keeps a little hold when I bring my hair down but it doesn't lock it in place. I recently used it in a different way. I like using those combs to keep my hair up out of my way sometimes, especially on hot days. The back end of that comb, let me get a comb. So these are the combs I like to use for putting up my hair and then I will put my headband on but I also like to use these combs particularly in the summer to put my hair up and this thing here first of all it has a nice loose hold but I can push this up towards the back and lift my hair up off the back of my neck um, I've been using these kinds of things for years I can only find them at Amazon now so I think I need to stock up because they do eventually break um, however um, even when my hair was longer than it is now and Honestly, I was realizing how long it had gotten the other day. I just trimmed it, I swear. I just trimmed it. Um, but anyway, uh, even when my hair was longer than it is now, putting it up, um, my sides, you have your hair up, and I would notice that these sides here would get kind of um, fuzzy. Um, I have a lot of... Um, shorter pieces of hair in there that would do that. Uh, the hair would lo gets loosened out of the comb over the day and yeah so the sides would get fuzzy and not look very they would look kind of messy. So I ended up doing that recently putting my hair up like that and using this all along the sides. Amazing. This thing did a great great job. Um, my hair felt uh, my hair doesn't feel sticky. It didn't. I you can kind of feel, feel a bit of a film. Excuse me. On your hair, but it's not an oily or um, it's not really the, all that uncomfortable. Uh, my hair held up for a full day of um, errands in the heat with this stuff, and it looked really good at the end of the day. And but when I took my hair down, my hair came down. It was just fine. So this, yes, I will rebuy this if I ever need it because um, I really, really, really like this and I do recommend it. If you want something that has kind of a firm hold without any crunch or um, flaking, but also want something that's a bit more on the natural side when you use it. So that's that's what I'm thinking. It has kind of a soft to firm hold but it's more natural so that's why when you pull your hair down um, you don't end up with parts of your hair going like this from the gel so it's a really good gel and I really really, I really, really like it. so the box overall last month I'm really really impressed really I it is my second favorite box my first favorite box would be the Shea Moisture box but yeah I was really really happy with it. And you know, all these things are more on the affordable end too. Like I said, the conditioner I got was something like five or six dollars. So unlike the Shea Moisture, you're not going to be spending, 
you know, 30 or $40 to get your shampoo, your conditioner, and whatever leave-in or mask you're going to use. Um, so that was really nice to find that that is more affordable. The whole set is uh, um, more expensive than, say, buying Suave, but it does a better job on your hair than Suave, too. So let's get into this month's box. Now, I'm actually really, really kind of excited about this because their post is, this is going to be, I think they said the fashion issue, um, and they said product, tools, and accessories. So we're, I, the box does not feel as heavy as the boxes normally do, and I'm really excited to see what's in here. Um, I have done this. I haven't actually looked inside yet, so we can do that. Let's get our box out. And we have something on the top. This is the Cantu Longer Bristles More Reach Smooth Thick Hair Edge Brush. Well, that is interesting. Look at that. It has bristles kind of like, uh, kind of like my other brush, which is laying on the floor. Um, and then it has regular brush bristles around it. Never used anything. How to use brush hair upward with brush hair with upward strokes from root to tip. Repeat for extra smooth edges. And use oh this is I started using a toothbrush because that what people that's what other people have done and have watched videos. I used a toothbrush to put gel in my hair, but now I guess I can use that. Alrighty. That's kind of interesting. So it looks like we have a Cantu box this time. It's all pretty pink box as usual. Alrighty, so let's open up. Curl box, the fashion issue. I love this picture. That's our usual curl box. Tag us. Each month we pick a random winner of a secret prize if you tag us with the curl box showing your products. So, um, I actually won something last month. I posted that little segment where I'm smelling the the conditioner and saying I want to rub it all over my body. I end up winning a card for Netflix for like two or three months. That's what they were giving away last month. But yes, so there's our little card. Here's our little issue. And it is the Cantu line. So I'm going to take a look at stuff. One thing about Cantu line, um, I love the color of it. I don't know anything else about it, but anyway, opening up. So, we have our little brush, and now we have a pick. But this, you know what? This pick is, I might be able to use this pick like I use a comb because this is a little wider. Sturdy double lift pick, anti-snap, non-slip grip. That's interesting. I actually want to see this. How do you get out of here? Let's get out of here. I want to see this. I want to try it in my hair. Let me try you in there. I'm just going to do that. There we go. And of course, I'm fussing with stuff I don't need to fuss with. Okay. We've gotten the pick free. There it is. There's the Cantu pick. Let's see. Well, it's a little different. As long as I use it the way I use my comb, it doesn't look like it's tearing up my curls. I might keep this one in my purse. I have two I have two combs. I have this one here and I have another one in my bathroom that's also purple. And I was going to get a third comb for my purse and now I don't have to. I've got this. Um, they also sent on Cantu Regal Easy Wrap Slide On Fashion Headband. Interesting. This is brighter colors than I normally wear. How to use. Use as a headband or stretch over hair for an instant wrap. Try to do this without getting makeup all over it. Hmm. 
and get it over the double earrings I'm wearing right now. Ah. Okay, okay. Ah. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done this. What do y'all think? Wow, that's tighter than my makeup headband. And it feels like the back can be, well, yeah, the back can be widened out a little bit. I'm not gonna play with it too much. What do you think? Hair out of my face. Mm. I have to play with it some more. I don't, other than that comb that I showed you guys, I don't put my hair up too much. I think my face looks weird. That's just me. All right, so we have the Edge Stay Gel. I think this is the one I tried. Extra hold. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up giving this to my uh, oldest uh, for her daughter. Um, as I recall, this is really sticky. I had purchased one of these before. Wasn't too impressed with it, so... But I'm going to go ahead and, and give that to her and see if she wants it, I think. You know, after we talk about it. We also have the Cantu Shea Butter Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream. Defines, moisturizes, and strengthens strands. See, this is one of the reasons why I would probably end up not buying more of that pudding. Because I keep getting more creams in my curl box. Let's see what we got going on here. Yep, that smells like coconut. I'm not a big fan of coconut. You can see it's kind of a... Whoa! <sighs> it's loose! It's looser than I expected. Oh, goodness. But that's creamy. It's just really... It looked... When you look in the thing, it looks like it's kind of stiff, but no, it's loose. It's very loose. Like the feel of it. Not particularly impressed with the smell, but we'll give it a try and see how we like it. <laughs> Next we have Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Curl Stretcher Cream Rinse. Minimizes shrinkage, humidity resistant. Great for blow dry or air dry styles. No mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, silicones, phthal phthalates, uh, paraffin, or propyl propylene glycol. Directions apply to damp hair. Leave in hair three to five minutes and rinse with cool water. Styling tip, follow with Canto, Cantu's Wave Whip Coconut Curling Cream or Curl Activator for air dry styles. Treat with Thermal Shield Heat Protector for heat styles. For best results, use after you know, shampoo and conditioner. So... Okay, use this after conditioner. I still got that cream on my fingers. Now see, that is thick. That's what I expected that to be. The scent on this one is, isn't as strong, so that's gonna be interesting. I've never used a cream rinse before, ever. I don't think I've ever used a cream rinse. It'll be nice to see if it is humidity resistant since I'm down south and we get humid. We get humid a lot. And last we have Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Style Stay Frizz Free Finisher. So basically a hairspray? Whether you blow dry or air dry, shield from humidity with the ultimate control without the crunch. Keep your press longer, your poof in place, and the lightweight 
with a lightweight mist. Made with pure shea butter and formulated to keep your curls curly or straight. Mist six inches away onto finish style for hold and control. So it's a hairspray. Something I've used, I used it when I was a kid. Do you need to shake it? Doesn't say. Okay. We'll try it without shake. I still got that cream on my fingers. Uh, okay, I just got a small section, I think. Give that a minute or two. See what happens. But that's our box for right now. So, um, this is a bit of a different box. When they said tools and accessories, I wasn't quite expecting this, but that's okay. It's fine. It's just different. Um, I'll have to see if I can get used to something like this. Like I said, I've never worn one of these. It does have a, can get it kind of wide. So I'll have to play around and see about that. I'm, I'm happy about the comb. I can put this in my purse and I will have to try this. Uh, instead of my little toothbrush that I have. This will go to my um, oldest for her child because this stuff is really, really sticky if it's the one I think it is. And in fact, I can probably... Actually, you know what I can do? I'm not going to open it at all. I was I was about to say I'm going to open it. And I do believe that I actually gave her one of these already. I'm going to put this in my Project Beauty Share box. I'm really excited to try the Coconut Curlings Cream, although the coconut smell is a bit strong. Um, this will be new. And I've used hairsprays before, but this will also be kind of new. It should have dried down now. Not feeling any crunch. So that's a good thing. I can't tell you if it has much hold, but I'm not feeling any crunch. And it didn't give me a hair scent, so that's kind of nice too. So this is a really interesting and different box for me, I think. And it's, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's just different. But anyway, so... The fashion issue issue as much as i love easy breezy summer styles fall fashions reign supreme uh lowered humidity offers more options to style our hair and this curl box is about crafting new looks for a new season as f your fall wardrobe hits its stride it's probably why they have such bright colors that it goes and it goes with the cantu um, color scheme very well Products in this curl box can help you craft cutting edge looks that are tailor made for the runway or just any day. We actually got seven products this time. That's more than I've ever received. I know I've gotten a box with six, but we've gotten seven. That's pretty good. Yeah, looking forward to reporting back on it, especially these two. So, well, and the cream. That means I have to shift something out of my I still have um, Maui Moisture and Pure Honey in my line. I still have some of my Shea Moisture Milk in my line. I have to buy a new one very soon, but I still have some in my rotation right now. So something's going to have to go out of rotation soon for me to try these. <laughs> That's the thing with my hair. Since I don't put a lot in, this stuff lasts me forever. $25 a box is not a bad deal when it lasts you two or three months and the products are already really kind of expensive. So, And the Shea Moisture, the, the milk is going on its sixth month. I've replaced my Shea Moisture um, conditioner once and I'm getting ready to replace the Shea Moisture shampoo. I like to have them on hand just in case I get sent a box where something is really drying. And they started the rescue of my hair and if I get something else that's really drying I would think that they would help rescue my hair again anyway so that's it for today um interesting box it's it's gonna be an interesting month I hope you like what you've seen and that um you'll come back again and that you'll subscribe and if you do subscribe please hit the notification bell so you know when I upload if you're part of the notification squad 
check the bell to make sure it's still rung because we're still having issues with, or at least I am still having issues with um, YouTube sending me a notification and then turning off the bell. If you do, don't subscribe, I do hope you'll come back anyway. And when you come back, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Let's hope it got strong. It did get a little stronger. I'm definitely, definitely, yes, getting some more chocolate vibes. You know, I'm not really getting the spices. That's kind of disappointing. It's not, hi, I'm a chocolate tea, but you can taste some chocolate in there. I'm not getting any the spices really, though. Anyway, you have a great day. Thank you for coming by and...